I'm heading out to the garden to pick our dinner. Come on, Lucy. Good girl. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Living Traditions Homestead. My name is Sarah. Uh, well, the garden is growing really well, and during the summer, we like to eat out of the garden fresh as much as we can. Uh, you know, we do a lot of preserving for the winter, but during the summer, it's our time to get everything fresh that we can. Uh, so today, I'm going to pull several things out of the garden to prepare our dinner. Uh, so I thought I would take you along, and uh, you can see kind of what we're up to today. We're making burrito bowls tonight. Uh, we uh, love Mexican food, that's why I plant all of the peppers that I do. Uh, but this uh, particular recipe is also super versatile and can be used for um, a lot of different things. Uh, we need to start off with tomatoes. I need four nice big tomatoes. Wow, I'm not gonna pick this one, but I just wanna show you how big this is. Woo! That is a huge one. These are celebrities right here. Next are the zucchini. Uh, we've got nice zucchini plants here. Uh, I know there's a yellow one in there that I want to pick because that will be just really pretty in our burrito bowls. And then if I can find a small, regular zucchini, that would be great. This is the squash I'm after right now. It's on the big side, but it'll be, it'll still be good. That's just dirt. All right, into the basket. Love ladybugs in the garden. Okay, I saw a zucchini down here. Oh, there it is. We're gonna take that one. Come on, there. There we go. That's a nice one. All right. Here is a Monero. Here's a nice one. Here's one that'll work. There's a beauty. All right, got everything we need. All right, Lucy, let's go. Okay, back in the house with the veggies. Um, I'm actually gonna be doing a, uh, a recipe out of this cookbook. I found it at a thrift store. It's called the Classic Zucchini Cookbook. The entire cookbook has all kinds of recipes uh, that use zucchini, but a lot of other summer squash and then winter squash as well. Um, I looked on our Amazon, well, I looked in Amazon, uh, saw that they're still offering it new. So I'm gonna go ahead and put um, a link to this in our um, Amazon shop if you're interested in taking a look. Uh, we've been eating a lot of recipes out of this um, this year and last year as well. Uh, so today I'm going to be cooking uh, page 74 black bean and summer squash stew, but I'm not using it as stew. We're using it in burrito bowls. Um, and like I said out of the garden, this recipe is super versatile. Uh, we actually have had it um, inside of omelets. Um, you can use it in burritos. You can use it in this stew. Uh, this is gonna be a completely meatless meal for us tonight, but it would go so well with some chopped up uh, grilled steak or uh, grilled chicken breast. Uh, so very versatile, uh, check it out. Uh, I highly recommend it. Okay, so we are gonna be having these burrito bowls with cilantro lime rice. So I have brown rice going in our rice cooker and we're gonna be using black beans that we have cooked here on the homestead. We didn't grow these. Uh, last year we grew pinto beans, but I do buy dry beans in bulk. We don't buy them uh, from the grocery store anymore. Uh, so they are still cooking on the uh, stove top. If you're not doing that yet at your homestead um, or if you're at your house, I highly recommend it. It's really not that hard um, and I think they're as much superior product. Okay, so I need to get chopping some of these things up. Thank you. 
the rest of these veggies to go in. Now this recipe doesn't have a lot of um, added flavorings or spices, so this is where I kind of step in with, I don't know, just kind of intuition. Uh, so I'm gonna let this heat up, but I'm gonna go grab some things that, is, that are really gonna bring out the flavor um, of this burrito bowl filling. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. We use uh, pink Himalayan salt on the homestead. I'm gonna add about um, a tablespoon of paprika. I'm out of smoked paprika, which I would prefer here, um, but I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of that. I didn't use many fancy measures around here. I just kind of wing it with what looks to be the right measurement. Okay, I have cumin here, and I'm probably gonna add about two teaspoons of cumin. I'm gonna use two teaspoons or so of minced garlic. And then I need to grab one more thing. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more of um, my uh, ground poblano peppers from last year. Uh, it's powdered. Um, it's not really spicy, but it does add a nice flavor to it on top of all the peppers I already put in there. So we're going to stir this up, let this cook just a little bit. Um, I prefer that the veggies still be a little bit uh, fresh tasting and feeling, uh, especially the zucchini. I don't want it mushy. And then we're gonna add the last two ingredients. Okay, this is up to a nice boil. I'm gonna turn this on low. I'm gonna add three cups of the uh, black beans that I just cooked today. Or you could use two cans from the grocery store. And I'm gonna add in half a can of corn. Uh, we had it in the refrigerator, I wanna use it up. Um, that's not in the recipe, so that's an added bonus. And with this kind of recipe, I think it will taste really nice. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit here. I'm actually just gonna turn off the heat. It can just continue getting warm in there. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm going to uh, mix up the cilantro lime rice that we're gonna be using. It's super easy. Uh, so let me show you that real quick and then we will be ready for dinner. Okay guys, cilantro lime rice. A lot more simple than you'd think, okay? So um, I've already cooked this rice. In the rice cooker, I put a little bit of oil, maybe a tablespoon of oil and some salt, okay? And really, I'm just going to add um, lime juice, stir it around, taste it in, until it tastes, uh, you know, a little sour and limey. I'm not even measuring this. I mean, you don't need to measure this. And then we're just going to take a nice bunch of cilantro and a pair of scissors and just cut it. Just gonna cut little bitty pieces onto the top and then we're just gonna mix it in. Okay, it is time to assemble the goodness. Put some rice in there. Some of the veggie mix, look at that. Little more. Some cheese. Little more. Some sour cream. And 
And for me, some sriracha. Looks perfect. Okay guys, moment of truth. Look at how beautiful that looks. Steaming hot. Everybody behind me is drooling. Can't wait for dinner. Oh, but so good. You guys, you need to try this. So you guys, don't forget to check out the cookbook that this came from. Uh, I'll put that in our Amazon shop. Um, hey, if this is the first time that you're visiting our homestead, right now is a perfect time to hit the subscribe button below. And for all of you traditionalists that come back five days a week for all of our videos, you guys mean so much to us. Thank you. Um, before you go, if you found uh, this video interesting, share it with your friends, share it with your family. If you like our channel, go ahead and share that as well. Until next time, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. Let's eat. Yes!